I'm Ron Lockrow, Assistant Professor of Pediatrics at Harvard Medical School and Pediatric Cardiologist at Boston Children's Hospital. I'm here at the 2014 Scientific Sessions of the American Heart Association to present uh, the results of a trial performed by the Pediatric Heart Network. The name of the trial is a randomized trial of atenolol versus lozartan in young children and uh, the name of the trial is a uh, randomized trial of atenolol versus lozartan in children and young adults with Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder of connective tissue which affects about one in 5,000 people. Enlargement of the aortic root and dissection or tear of the aortic root can cause premature death. The current standard therapy of Marfan syndrome includes beta blockers and this was, <coughs> this became true because of a study published in 1994 showing that propranolol reduced the rate of aortic root growth in patients treated with uh, propra, uh, patients with Marfan syndrome treated with propranolol compared to untreated patients. More recently, studies have shown that drugs like lozartan, which are angiotensin receptor blockers, may be better at uh, reducing the rate of aortic root growth in Marfan syndrome. So our trial was designed to compare lozartan and atenolol in children and young adults with Marfan syndrome. We recruited 600, over 600 patients with Marfan syndrome between the ages of six months and 25 years. <clears throat> they, all met the, uh, the, uh, they all met the diagnostic criteria for Marfan syndrome and had aortic roots that were at least moderately dilated. <clears throat> About half of the patients were treated with lozartan and the other half were treated with atenolol and the patients were followed over three years. The main finding of the study was that, was that there was no difference in the treatment effect between the two groups. In other words, both atenolol and lozartan had the same uh, therapeutic effect in reducing the aortic root growth in children and young adults with Marfan syndrome. The study did show that both drugs reduced the severity of aortic root enlargement, and this effect was more prominent in younger children, suggesting that uh, therapy should be started at a younger age. Both lozartan and atenolol were very well tolerated and there were very few adverse events or serious symptoms. The incidence of uh, aortic surgery, aortic root dissection and death was very low in both groups and there was no statistically significant difference between the two groups. So the main conclusions of our study are that there are two effective therapies for Marfan syndrome atenolol, a beta blocker, and lozartan, an angiotensin receptor blocker, both effective at reducing the aortic root enlargement in children and young adults with Marfan syndrome. Both drugs were well tolerated, which means that we have more options as patients and uh, medical providers uh, in choosing therapy for patients with Marfan syndrome. And finally, the effect of the drugs seemed more prominent in younger patients uh, suggesting that we should be starting therapy earlier in the course of the disease and treating younger children with Marfan syndrome in order to prevent the long-term complications of aortic aneurysms and aortic dissection.